Hey, what's going on, Orbis X family? Got a little update for you for the booking form. Actually, not a little update. It's a big update um, called Additional Options, and it's going to be pretty awesome. So a lot of you are already familiar with variations, and variations are a toggle. I'll show you here. I'll go to my booking form here. Um, so this is our demo booking form, and so it's got all the nice stuff. You can choose the vehicle, so on and so forth, and we're all familiar with the variations. Uh, these are known as radio buttons, where basically it's an either-or scenario. So it's great for like choosing one of something. Uh, so in this case, for example, I'm choosing you know under a detailing service, and then I'm choosing you know a truck, for example. Uh, so as you can see, when you make a choice, it moves the selection from one place to the other. But sometimes you have things that you want to have as add-ons, and while the upsells are great, and Orbis X does a very good job of upselling customers uh, for you. Um, sometimes it helps to have something directly under a particular service or package. And so that's where these new options called additional options, that's where they're going to show up. And they work similar to variations in how they get set up. And you can have images for them, um, descriptions, so you can put more information for the customer. Uh, you can set a price as well as the time. And that will factor into your uh, limitations as well for how long the service is going to take and so on and so forth if they add on additional options. Uh, these will also show up on your booking requests. And I'll go over all those different uh, sections in a second. And thirdly is you'll also be able to add these into your templates uh, for the event reminders, completion notices, uh, new bookings, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'll show you those components now. Uh, usually I do screenshots with updates, but sometimes when it's an update, uh, a larger one like this, uh, it helps to have a video to kind of go over things. So bear with me. I will keep it brief. All right. So uh, this is what it looks like. And essentially, if I, you know, select different ones, um, it's going to now update the price for the customer as well. And so just to show you here, I'll just select uh, just two of them. So stain removal, pet hair removal, and then sedans and coupes for the detailing. Um, then we'll scroll down to our pricing box and now we have this here selected services packages so it says detailing and then it says additional options stain removal pet hair removal and then sedans and coupes it updates the time required as well as the overall cost so it takes the additional options pricing plus the detailing pricing for the sedans and coupes that i selected adds it all together boom and that also factors into deposits on this uh, demo account, we have deposits uh, off at the moment, but if you do set a deposit amount for these different things, then uh, that'll get factored in as well. So this is what it looks like for the customer front end. They'll be able to see the pictures. Um, they'll be able to see you know, more information, stuff like that. And you can add them to packages as well. So here, you know, we've got a ceramic deluxe, and then uh, you can basically uh, you know, have different options that they might choose, right? So maybe you have different ceramic coatings that you use at your shop and you can give them the choice of which one they want to go with, uh, stuff like that. So even more opportunities for you to upsell uh, these add-ons for your customers. So now let's dive into the booking form settings and I'll show you where you can start creating those uh, in your account. So similar to variations and other pricing stuff, we'll go down to our services in this case. So here I am in the services list on my booking form settings. And we have uh, price variations, which you're familiar with. That's where uh, these are the either or ones. And now there's a new uh, setting for options. And so if I choose options, uh, this is where you can edit service additional options. And so it has very much a similar layout as the variations with the one difference being that people can select multiple of these ones uh, or exclude them completely uh, from their service. So very, very helpful. And uh, to add, you know, images, for example, we'll scroll over here, you would click this, and then this is where you can either delete an existing image or add a new one. And then we'll go back over here, and you can click this to add a description or edit a description. And then that will save automatically. You can also reorder them if you need them moved around. All right, so that's how you add them. So once again, it's the options button that's here. So you have all of your different uh, options for each service and similarly for packages. Um, so similar to the price variations, there's a new one called options and clicking that you'll be able to add options or if it's one like this, you'll be able to edit existing ones. Um, so that's how you do that. Now let's move on to how this looks on a booking request. And so I'll click on my request button 
And so here I've got some tests that I submitted. So it'll say services and packages. It says the service that was chosen, and then it'll say plus, plus. And so these would be the add-ons for that particular service. And if they have more than one service, then it will separate them. Uh, let me see if I did a test with, I don't think I did a test with multiple. I did not. Okay. So, uh, but basically, let's say that we also selected tinting. It would say here, detailing, pet hair removal, paint correction light, whatever's chosen. Then it would say tinting, and then it'll have underneath tinting the add-ons that were chosen for that. And then we'll head over to the calendar and show you once that becomes an event, uh, what it looks like. And so in here, we have services and packages, variations for the services and packages, and now additional options. And that's where you can see, um, you know, the different options that were chosen and added onto the package. And if we go over to edit an event, there we go. So once I'm editing an event, if you choose different services and packages, you'll be able to see different options that are available based on what you've selected. So in this case, I've got my six year ceramic deluxe and I've got detailing selected. So if I click options, it's going to pull up and show me the options that are available and I can add or remove different ones for my customer um, at that time. And once again, this, this also does, uh, so let's say I add these three, uh, you can still use things like the magic wand and it will add the pricing for you. And similarly for the time required, um, you can do that as well. Um, now that's the options. And then of course there's the variations that are there as well. So I can change, oh, it's not a Savannah coupe. It's actually an SUV, for example. Um, so there's different things you can change uh, like that as well. But so that's where you would change the options on the actual event. And then from a booking request, you know, I'll go back to the booking request. So let's say this one here. Um, and if I convert this by going add to calendar. So if I do add to calendar, it's going to essentially um, carry that over. It's going to put uh, all their selected options in the details. But then also, if I, you can see it's selected detailing. And if I click options, it's going to show the options that were selected on the booking form. And it maintains the price from their booking request. Because maybe uh, you had a special going and they, they booked for, you know, I don't know, it, instead of $100 pet hair removal, it's $50, a promo. Um, so it'll honor the pricing from their booking request because that's what they saw on the screen. That's what they requested at the time. Um, and so it would be up to you to update that uh, with the customer if your, um, let's say the promo was expired by the time that they finally pulled the trigger or something like that. Um, so anyway, that's where you'll be and you'll be able to update that and just change your pricing uh, manually as needed. So that is essentially how this works um, for the um, additional options side of things. And it's going to be added to other sections like in the marketing section. Uh, so that's the next step that's in the works. Um, so for example, um, let's see, what would be a good one? Uh, Post-service follow-ups, for example. Uh, so when creating a new one, post-service follow-ups, uh, right now it's events with pricing variations and what's going to be added there is events with additional options and then you'll be able to choose from your additional options and create specific post-service follow-ups for people that chose those additional options. Similarly, you'll be able to exclude so right now it stops at variations. This is also going to have additional options. So all of those things are coming. They're in the works. But the goal is uh, this was a big update because uh, it required a lot of coding for the AI and the limitations and things like that. A lot of training and testing uh, for the AI model as well. And the goal is get the version one launched uh, for you guys to start using it right away. And then we can focus on uh, version two, uh, which will be all the other accoutrements that go with it. Now, if I jump into my settings and options, and then I go to automations and mail, uh, so we'll scroll down here. And so some of your templates, uh, for example, your new booking event notices, if I click this one, for example, you'll have now additional variables. So you'll see the variables here, add options list and add options bullets. Um, so each of those uh, do something different. So the bullets might be good for an email, for example, because it's going to show a bullet list. So it'll list them one after the other, um, whereas the add options list is just a comma separated list of the uh, additional options they chose. That might be more suited for SMS messages, but the choice is yours. Use whatever you want. And in addition to that, there's also conditional variables that can go with this. So the if add options list and if add options bullets and then the end if and if. So you can put those into your template in this uh, instance, for example, 
I want this heading here, additional options selected, and then I want to have the add options list. Um, so that's what I'm going to show to the customer, but I only want that to show up if there are additional options selected, because if not, you're going to see the service list, upsells list, and then you're going to see this text here, but then there would be nothing under it, um, which doesn't make sense. So this is a conditional variable. You can put those in and then put in the if add options list, then display this, and then um, it'll also display the list here, and then end if add options list. Uh, so you can put that in, and it works similar to this example here. If drop off date time, you mentioned dropping off your vehicle ahead of time at drop off date time, and then end if. For the, so that's how the conditional variables work, and there is a section down here that explains how they work and gives an example. Um, so, so anyway, it is added to the templates as well. So that basically covers it. And uh, of course, um, it, I guess the last thing to cover, I was trying to keep this around 10 minutes, so I'll be quick on this last part. Um, but from an event that has additional options, uh, if you click on the new invoice, it's going to now pull up and it's going to bring over the invoice and it will carry over uh, the additional options that I had along with the pricing that was selected. Um, so loads of options. Uh, this is going to be a good one for sure. I know us, like it's, it's been a lot of work, but uh, <laughs> we understand the, the you know, uh, implications of what you can do marketing wise, especially once we start doing the post service stuff, um, the tag actions, all of that uh, targeting people that chose these additional options uh, will be great. Like things like pet hair removal, targeting them again, uh, because you know their pets are gonna make a mess of the vehicle again. So you can set that to follow up X amount of days after they selected that add on things like that. So it's, it's really helpful. Um, and then uh, just to show you another example, so like under tinting, for example, so we have some, you know, variations, but then you can additional service options. So if they want ceramic tint instead, um, if they want a sun strip, if they want their sunroof done, you can add different options. You can make these different shades. Maybe you charge, you know, a different price for 5% than you do for 50 or something like that. Uh, so there's lots of stuff you can do and you can always reverse this too you can make this where they choose their vehicle here i wouldn't recommend it because vehicles is like it's an either or scenario that's why variations are great for that um, and then the additional service options uh, are good for add-ons and things like that so anyway that's it we're now past the 12 minute mark sorry thanks for hanging in there i know you guys are going to love this one um, happy marketing let's get it